So welcome to the January 2022 top three applications for your Fire Stick for your Android TV devices. Now these applications will allow you to get the most from your device, whether that's speeding up the device or allowing you to sideload applications or even update all of your applications. So please do take a moment to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started if you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials the latest fire stick android and android tv tips and tricks then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell it's a small click from you but it makes a big difference to me thank you now the first application we have in the list is the fast task killer now this application with literally one click will allow you to free up memory on your device. This is a fantastic application, works perfectly fine on your Android TV devices, your Chromecast, and of course the Amazon devices like the 4K Fire Stick. Literally just open the application and it will close off as many background processes as it can. And there we can just see on the top right that my device currently has just over 240 megs of free memory. And as you guys know, the more free memory that your device has, typically you'll see better performance. And as your free memory starts running out, that's when your applications typically start buffering. Now this application, Fast Task Killer, just one click, count to three seconds, and we can see that my free memory has now boosted to just under 500 megs. So super easy to use. And I just recommend that before starting your movie night or your streaming session, just open this application once, flush out all of the background things and your device will just perform so much better and you don't have to worry about your VPN because this will not terminate your existing VPN connection. So the next application we have on the list is APK Updater. Now when this application starts for the first time, it does a complete scan of your system and then it shows you if there are any application updates available. And these updates can come from the Google Play Store or from FDroid or from APK Mirror or Apto TV. So lots of different repositories. It doesn't matter where your application came from. You can now use this single application to update them. Now before you do anything in this application, if you get down into settings, and we can see we have four sources from where we can get these updates from. Now on the Amazon devices, because we don't have a native built-in browser, I recommend that we turn APK Mirror off because those links or those updates, they actually make you go to their website. Now on the Android TV devices like the Shield or the Chromecast, you can leave that on, but just on the Amazon devices, I recommend you turn this off. Now also because this application has become very popular, you may occasionally see issues uh, regarding uh, API tokens or token dispense errors. So all of those errors are typically related with Google Play. So if you have that issue on your device, just turn off Google Play. So that means on your device, you'll only get updates from Aptor TV and also from FDroid. Now if you go to the bottom here and go to applications, now here, for example, we can choose to ignore certain applications. And what that means is, is APK Updater will not try and find any updates for them. Now, I think in my last video when I covered this, I think uh, there was some confusion that uh, if it says ignore, that means it's not ignored. So let's say, for example, I want to ignore the Aurora store. If I click on that, we can see we have the option to unignore. So by default, everything has ignore next to it, which means you're not ignoring it. And if you choose to ignore it, you'll then see unignore next to it. So that's how you basically see which applications are going to be ignored and which ones are not going to be ignored. Okay, so let's now go to updates. And let's see what my device has available for. Here we can see mouse toggle. I'm running version 1.06, but 1.12 is out. So again, I click on that. And pretty much instantly, we get the update. I can click on install. And just like that, my device is now running the latest version of Mouse Toggle. So great application, very easy to use, and it will allow you to update all of your applications. It doesn't matter if you install them from a website or from anywhere, we can now use a single application to bring those updates for all of our applications. So and if any of you guys are still here with me, then if you drop a like on this video and leave the comment, hashtag Fire TV, then I know you made it this far in the video, which I always appreciate. I'll then heart your comment. And lastly, and by no means least, we have the easy fire tools. So just imagine the, a Swiss army knife of side loading applications, connecting to your device, taking screenshots, closing background applications, 
this application really can do it all and it works great on the Fire Stick or really any Android device. Now this is an application that you install on your Android phone or your Android tablet. And if you don't have any of those, you can even use an Android emulator on your PC or even Mac. Let me bring mine up. Now when you start this application, you can click this button here at the top, which looks like a mouse. And this will basically do a scan of all of the devices on your home network, whether they're Fire Sticks or the Android TV devices, and show you which ones you can connect to. The only slight bug I found when you're doing this through an emulator is it doesn't seem to find any devices. Now the quick fix for that is, is just find the IP address of your device, then go to the hamburger menu on the top left, go to settings, and where it says Fire TV IP, here you can enter in the direct IP address of your device that you want to manage or connect to. So my 4K Fire Stick IP address ends in 121. Let's click on OK. And let's now click on the connect button. And that's now connected. Now once connected through this application, we can now push applications to our device. We can manipulate the file system. We can copy files. We can move things around. We can rename things. We can even take complete backups of the care application. So let's say you've got that installed on your device. You've installed maybe a custom build or maybe some custom add-ons. You've configured it, you've changed the theme. All of the settings that you've done, I can now go to the hamburger menu, go to media center, go to uh, backup. Now through this, I can click on backup, give that a name, and this will then connect to my device and back up all of those custom configuration, all those add-ons. Everything will be backed up to a single zip file. Once that's done, I can then use the same application, make another connection to another device, and then just push all of that configuration directly onto that device. So that really is one of the best features of Easy Fire Tools. Uh, we also have the task manager. So this is now showing me the applications that are running on my device. I can also take a screenshot. So I click on this icon over here. So if you want to take a screenshot, let's click on OK. So through the ADB connection, Easy Fire Tools is now taking a screenshot of my Fire TV stick and it should save that to my gallery. Okay, it says uh, something saved. Let's check the gallery <laughs> and there's a screenshot there guys. So taking screenshots works absolutely fine. You can even record video clips directly with this application. Okay, so to get any of these applications on your devices, head over to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com, go over to tutorials and the latest tutorial in the list will be the top three useful applications, January 2022. Let's scroll down. Here's some more information about the applications. And underneath all of that, you'll have three direct links to install any of them. Here we are, so you can use any of these links to install the latest versions of these applications on your devices. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I really am trying my best to get this new channel up to 10,000 subscribers. So if you guys can help out, make sure you are subscribed with all notifications. Do like and share this video and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.